Savage, what up? I just bought some Pocky. That's true. And uh, he did a YouTube taste test. He's gonna upload the video to YouTube any moment now. That's what he said. Uh, privately maybe. Oh damn it! Other co-host. Hi, I am everything animated, and uh, I've just been. I just been taking it easy, watching a bunch of movies. Been on a movie rant today, but it's all good. And I'm going to a football game tomorrow. Free nice charge. football. Mhm. Football is for people who like sports, right? Sure is. Mm, yeah. Interesting. Probably. Never heard of this football. I have heard it be compared to the sport hand egg, but I don't know how similar or different they are. Yeah, they're um quite different, I guess. This is the show where we decide which anime is the best of the season, and uh, the way the show works is if it gets three or more passes, we get to keep watching the show. If it gets three or more kills, the show's dead, and we never have to watch again because, you know, it's a bad show. Um, so I guess we should start off immediately with the reigning king of king of anime uh, i think we could all say that pretty reliably slime daddy yeah! slime daddy episode 10 of slime daddy titled the orc lord which pretty generic title in my opinion slime daddy enlists the help of the ogres and helps them in their plot for revenge he also gives them names, which makes them totally kawaii. Also, gel mood and stuff, but don't forget gabadu. Ga- gabadu. Gabadu. Gabiru. Oh. Yeah. yeah. This was a f- freaking cool episode of Slime Daddy once again. Yeah, Um. with this episode, it uh, wasn't really any action. Now that I think about it, um, it was more just, I guess, expanding the world and having or showing the conflicts that we're going to have in the future, being the orc lord and, of course, still the demon lord that we, uh, which Slime Daddy wants to meet. Um, what was one thing I wanted to talk about? So, with with these new they're ogres right because right i I was yeah ogres all right they're all a bunch of shreks they turn into kijin i think is their name yeah 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 kijin i'm I'm pretty sure that was it um so when slime daddy is giving them all names all six of them i didn't i didn't like their new transformation it's not that i didn't like it i just like the previous one better yes, because I agree. Yeah, when he gave the goblin or yeah, the goblins their names, they got much tougher looking. Uh the women got better looking. All of this, it was like, okay, okay. But then these guys get their names and they look a lot weaker in my opinion. Yeah. I mean, I I get it because they lose their wildness, but I don't know. Like, especially the princess when she had those bleeding eyes. Like, last episode, I said that she looked weird, but um, it was I pretty like the unique. Bleeding eyes. Yeah. Yeah, it was unique. And I was, when it was going, I was like, oh, damn. Uh, <laughs> put it back, please. Yeah, but, they made them uh, more generic Isekai, I think. Yeah, I didn't like that. They look, they look much better before he gave them names. And it was kind of weird because he didn't even get. To naming them and then he just passed out but right. I guess time had just passed but I don't know just the way they conveyed that was weird uh, but and then we get to the lizard men and they're Gabadu. having this whole conflict <laughs> God, 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 God be Ryu I think that was his name God be Ryu 
Um, and he's the son of this, the Lizard King, I'll just call him. Maybe that really is his name. I am the Lizard Queen. I have no clue. Because oh. they threw a lot of names at us at this time. Uh, in, in this episode, I mean. But, yeah, he already seemed like he was going to plot something against his father. Or at the very least, not go with his father's wishes. But... The thing is, he wasn't going to do it. He was just going to do what his father said until everybody gassed him up and said, hey, you should overtake your father. You should be the chieftain. You're a lot stronger than he was in this heyday. And he started thinking, yeah, I am the shit, aren't I? Can't do it. <laughs> and then he started rubbing his nose like they do whenever they get cocky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. I guess he's not going to ask Slime Daddy for help. Um, I'm, he didn't like explicitly say it, but I guess he's going to try to take on the um, the orcs by them by himself and try to prove himself, which we know is not going to work. Two hundred thousand versus his his men. No, no, thank you. Uh, so Slime Daddy might have to swoop in to save him because I doubt that they'll just get killed, considering how he was introduced but uh yeah this was a pretty good episode definitely has a lot of potential yeah uh i agree um going back to character designs a little bit uh there's only one that in a sense i liked i didn't like that they got rid of her blood eyes but uh the the little girl who who has now kind of gotten older i'm more i'm okay with that cuz before I was like, "Oh man, I hope they don't do something weird with her." Thankfully, they decided not to. But yes, uh, I think the only one that really wasn't changed was the old man, and I still think the old man got went came out kind of worse because he kind of looked more distinguished. They all looked more distinguished. Um, I I like how they explain like um what they turned into. They turned into like uh, the next form of. Uh, ogres Kijin, I really like that because I didn't I didn't know there was like a a form above that uh, and I, I assume they're they're playing on uh, proper fantasy tropes here because it seems very the show so far seems like it's very much proper fantasy tropes with the the uh, dwarfs being very good at um, blacksmithing and stuff like that and trying to invent um, uh, machines and stuff like that it's a very common trope within fantasy. Uh, and at the very beginning, this did like, I love Slime Daddy does the show, not the person, but these little tidbits where like he's in his human form and he takes, he, he takes a bite of this food and he can actually taste it. And I thought that was pretty cool because it makes sense. He, I guess his body replicates like the full human body since he can. So, uh, besides of course his sexual organs, uh, so he can now taste stuff and i thought that was just a nice little tidbit that's really cool it builds the world a little bit because he's like oh wow this food tastes so good and i I really enjoyed that what do you think everything animated by this episode (laughs) uh i don't know maybe i was the only one that just thought it was okay i agree with the whole you know once they transformed they looked a hell of a lot weaker i i honestly think they should have done it in reverse style where they should have looked like that at the beginning. But then when they went up to the next level, uh, I guess that should have, the the old selves should have been what the new level should be. You know what I mean? Like it should have been reversed. And uh, yeah, I just thought they all looked too generic and just very much the same. That one big guy who was like the Hulk looking brute looking guy all of a sudden walks in. He's like, Hey guys, uh, I'm stronger, but I'm just a happy go lucky guy. I'm like someone's dad now. And it's just like, I don't know. I just didn't really care for that, but that's what it is right now. So we you know, got to get used to it. Uh, lizard men. I was just kind of like, how many times are we going to be see lizard men in anime this year? We saw it in overlord a couple of times. We saw some uh, lizard sex in that episode, in that show. I remember oh, that. God. Yeah, it was very weird. Like he goes to, in the looking glass and he's like, um, uh, turn it off that please. And you just see him doing it. But, um, anyway, uh, 
I think. I mean, I think the quality's still there. It's just I don't know. This particular episode was just a lot of exposition and dialogue, and I'm looking for to see what the next episode's gonna look like. I think what is it? Gabba Gabba Gabidu Gabidu Gabi. Wait, you're talking about the son of the lizard? Yeah, Yo Gabba Gabba. Yeah. He's uh, <laughs> he's gonna. I don't know. Something's gonna happen to him. I, I I can already either something's gonna happen to him or something's gonna happen to his father. Someone's gonna die. I like at the then, end uh, when they're all chanting his name. Mm-hmm. Gabaru, Gabaru. <laughs> Is I I saying Gabriel? I I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> but uh, yeah, all in all, it was it was a it was an all right episode. And of course, we had to have uh, what are they called now? They're not ogres. They're Kijin. Kijin. Keegan, shit. Keegan Michael Keel from Key and Peel. <laughs> they're um they're Keegans now, and um and, you know we had to see old Keegan boobs, horn boobs. Ah yes, horn bobs. With, with uh with uh with Slime Daddy. I mean I I knew he, that was gonna happen. I even called it too. She, <laughs> she was a bitch, and then all of a sudden she's just all over Slime Daddy. Like you gave me a name, I'm gonna call you. You're so <laughs> cute and adorable, but. Yeah, I uh, overall I think it was just an okay episode. Do you think Horn Bobs is the next romance for Slime Daddy? Uh, no. Probably not because he's gonna be sentimental towards the one he was quote unquote supposed to be destined with. But I don't know. I almost feel like because he was supposed like he's supposed to be thirty seven and a virgin, but now he's a slime. Yeah, think about that. <clears throat> he was a he was a thirty seven year old virgin living in the regular world. Then he became a slime, and now he's a a he she. <laughs> and um, his next love could be Horn Bob's, and who knows? I I think he might get you know be like the the typical you know male character where he's like, oh God, no, no, I don't want to get in between those. Oh, no, just just stay away from me. <laughs> but I do love the attention, so please don't go. <laughs> uh who knows maybe maybe uh some uh, love will come of that but then maybe someone will get jealous and step in between them and be like hey this is my horn bobs not yours <laughs> i have claimed the horn bobs now back off <laughs> um we also saw gelmood's name pop back up again um which makes me think that gelmood is going to be kind of the main villain for this this whole series. I just wonder, though, he gives everybody a name. And they, they talked about it in this episode, like, why is he giving everybody name and everybody, um, like, names and stuff. And I, I do wonder, you know, where that is leading to. What is the ultimate goal? Like, why would he do that? Because we also learn that naming people takes a lot of mana. And mm-hmm. so it, it's... I don't. Why would he do that, knowing? Why would he do that to everyone he walks past, knowing that he'll lose mana? In my opinion, theory here, uh, I think that's because he has an almost unlimited uh, resource of mana. Either he is very, very, very high level, more so than Slime Daddy is, because um, he named those ogres and he immediately passed out. Um, he didn't even get to name him and he passed out. Was he was just thinking he, about it. <laughs> he didn't even get to name him. He's like, I'm going to name him. Oh. And it just falls over. So, I was totally confused by that. I was like, what happened? <laughs> so if he can go around and name all of these creatures, how powerful is this guy? He, he has to be super powerful. If he's just naming people and nobody's heard of him falling down or anything like that, and he's literally just walking around like hey you get a name you get a name you get a name like oprah winfrey then he has to be pretty tough i mean we do have to have some competition for slime daddy i mean i like seeing slime daddy kick ass but he has Mm -hmm. to at some point uh have some type not really a rival but somebody who can be a match for him in some type of way you know who gelmood reminds me of is uh 
is a uh, Naraku from Inuyasha, where he always seemed to have these henchmen, and he like made them super powerful, or whatever. And he always hid in the shadows and was you know always covered his face until like yeah. one episode you finally see him. That's what Gelmud is. He's you know he's secretive. You know you can't see what his you don't know what he looks like, but um, I think of it, you know what's going to happen. It's going to come to find out that he too is also a slime. And it's going to be the oh. Battle of Slimes. Was that in the opening? Can we cross-reference that with the opening? <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know if Gelmud's face even shows. Or if it does, I don't know which person he is in the intro. Also, the Orc Lord. There there was that. Um, Wasn't he a pig? Yeah. Uh, I don't Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, he was... looked like a pig. Was he the guy from the last episode? Yeah, I think I think he was because didn't he feed him and he's like, uh, Uh because I think he is the orc lord because he said he was gonna give him like the power of what the orc storm Um, or something. He was gonna it's the destroyer or whatever, and his basically his purpose is to destroy the slime daddy. Uh huh. So, um. I think we'll probably get to see the Orc Lord either in the next episode, episode 11, or episode 12. I think we're close. We're closing in on the Orc Lord. Um, as for anything else, um, I don't know. I would like to add one more thing. I like the fact that, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, the Ogre Leader. I'm sorry, guys. I'm bad with names. There were too many names in this episode. Mm-hmm. Um, the ogre leader, the guy with the red hair, I like the fact that he was kind of reluctant to be a subordinate for Slime Daddy because I, it, it would have felt weird if he just suddenly said, yeah, I'll join you guys, and then everything was cheerful because um, he was already the leader of his own group, and I think he said he had, what, 300 people in the village before the orcs attacked, and he it was kind of like he had to swallow his pride and he had to face the fact that he wasn't strong enough to take revenge by himself so he decided i have to follow under slime daddy so i can't take my revenge i just thought that was a cool moment Mm -hmm. yeah also like at one point like it's like he doesn't even have a plan to take on all this and that's kind of like I like that little scene as well where they're talking about it and he's and, and Slime Daddy's like, you even have a plan like for all of this revenge. And that's kind of like how they were led to, to join Slime Daddy. And I, I do wonder what, what... I do wonder if these ogres will be like the most like... Like Slime Daddy's like powerful uh, right-hand men and it, like his group of like his personal army or whatever. Um, I wonder if there is going to be any other group that comes along that joins his, that is as powerful as these ogres. Let's check the cover. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a good, that's good idea. That's, well, I have it. I have it loaded up on stream here. I can. All yeah, right. So there's the Copy, girl. Copy paste it. Paste there's the it. dwarves. I want to see. Uh, I looks like that's it. Yep. Oh, damn. He's got no so, more. So no other peoples. No other peoples. Um, oh. Well, he, no. Well, Gabidoo is going to join him apparently because he's in the freaking cover. So <laughs> thanks, spoilers for he, he's for that. The bad man's going to join. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Turns out he was good all along. So, uh, with that being said, what are you guys going to give this slime daddy? We are passing. Yeah, I'll pass it. It's it's been nothing but good to me. Pass as well. That's that's three passes. Uh, I guess next we should go ahead and, and talk about Car Curry Circus, the anime with, oh my god, the pacing on this episode. I don't, there oh. is so much stuff, so like, it takes place, that like, oh god, I don't know, let's just We talk. had a flashback within a flashback within a yeah, flashback. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't know, let's just go ahead and talk about it, I don't really know what happened, like, I can't, I watched this episode you, you like an hour to... ago. An hour ago. I can't write a synopsis for it. Here's my synopsis. Okay, so, uh, you know, they find this, uh, I guess, 
what is it, uh, Narumi's old sensei that taught him how to do karate. Yep. And for some reason, a random girl <laughs> is in his group. Oh, Ming Zaya. And yeah, yeah, we just met her that very Sasuke's second. Sasuke's new waifu. Yeah, yeah. And then we're just oh. walking there, and he's like, "Let me tell you a story about uh, the, the the puppet people and Yin da, 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 da. and Jin." I think was. Yin and saying. Jin, Yin and Yang, and uh, literally, the whole ep- rest of the episode was a flashback of <laughs> of them. I was so fucking confused. <laughs> but are they reincarnated versions of those people? I like. I wasn't really like. I was like writing down notes, so I can't pay attention to everything when I'm writing down notes. And I look up after I like. Oh, they go to like Ming Zaya. I wrote out in my notes, Ming Zaya is Satsuki's waifu, and then the next note is, wait, are they? Wait, what? What's happening? <laughs> like, are these the same people? Is like. Uh huh. Wait, I is object. Narumi like a? Uh, did he, could he tell the future? I I don't know. I object. <laughs> what do you object? Yes, Ming Zia, no, that is not a. She is not waifu material. You know why? Because I don't know the first damn thing about her. I don't think she was, she was in it for two seconds. Yeah. That, oh my god. That was so weird. It was just like, hey, we're we have this character. Yeah, we did this and did that. It it was. There's it was so Scott, near the end of the episode. There's this part where, like, after Yin and Jin have a falling out, Jin's like just randomly after the scene where it's like you don't even know if like he's angry. Like, if if Yin is angry at Jin for for taking um, Francine, he he, he tell, right he immediately tell. after he had red glowing around his head. He did, well, that's the sign of then, evil. But here's the thing: then right after that, they do like a glass breaking, like little sound effect that makes it seem like it's a funny little joke. And then he right snapped. after that, he's like, this "Fucking Narumi, yeah, Narumi minus one is like, well, Yin doesn't like me right now. That's all we get." <laughs> Oh, yeah, the first time, yeah, the first time I was confused. The first time it felt comedic. The second time when he was in the, the church. Yes, when he was whatever. in the church, yes. Yeah, yeah, when he was in the church, I was like, okay, this guy just snapped. But the yeah. first time I was like, wait, are you mad or <laughs> are you like. No, no, I'm not mad. I'm furious. <laughs> I don't know. It just went. felt, yeah, it just felt weird to me because I'm thinking, well, if you did. Love this a French a French sheet. <laughs> a French scene. <laughs> Shirogane. The, yeah, the flashback Shirogane. If you did love her, <laughs> why didn't you say anything? Because you were definitely more vocal than oh god. Uh flashback mm. Narumi. <laughs> um, it was like he seemed like a flirty type of guy. You know, he just seemed like he would definitely confess if he felt that way and he just let flashback Narumi take flashback Shirogane so. and then, yeah well and then not only that but like they get married in the span of five seconds and fall in love with each other and <laughs> less than that uh, <laughs> you, you are a very nice person you give bread to orphans want to get married yeah, I have a note here like <laughs> Francine is the nicest person in the whole wide world because she all she did is like sit at bow at an altar and be like I, w- I wish for all illnesses to disappear she's like a five year old oh like, god I want nothing bad to happen to oh. anyone ever and then oh that's that's so touching and then Jen Wanna is like <laughs> Jen is like holy shit I'm in love with you let's get married <laughs> and I'm like what the it's- I, I would have told him. I was like, "That's not love. That's an erection. You need to, you need to wait till that passes." God, <laughs> and this all the egg never made it to the child. That that the, poor child. The pacing. I needed I that egg. I don't know when the pacing for this is going to slow down. It has to. Like, it actually has to slow down at some point because you can't have the show this fast for this long. For. Like, the last episode was it was okay. Like, in, like it wasn't f- really fast pacing. It kind of, like, it stayed in that action scene for a bit. But this, wow. Wow. It's just, like, instantly, it's just, like, next, next. Let's just get through this. Next, where, next. Where, where does it even take place, the flashback? Is it, like, in 
it's the renaissance of england or something it's, it takes place old, old in time. france somewhere hundreds of years ago i think it's 300 years 200 200 or 300 years ago i think it's what the guy said and, and he yet said they look they look just like him and he basically alluded to that this is how the zonafa thing started and i was like also also do you notice that yin looks like a grown up version of masaru oh huh i didn't I didn't like to pay attention to that. Yeah, I didn't pay attention to that either. But <laughs> well, uh, I, I know because you guys are trying to keep up with the story, like I was. Well, yeah, yeah, I was watching, going. <laughs> First of all, how does this old man know all of this great detail of stuff that happened three hundred <laughs> years ago? That I never just... question. I never question anime flashbacks anymore. <laughs> I'm just like, it, yeah, <laughs> it happened. Okay, that's. Oh, this show. Whew. But I guess if you close, well, if you uh, pretend in an alternate dimension, you can imagine that it's Shirogane and she's got emotion, you know, versus. Yeah, uh, just, they no all emotion. have the same voice actors, too. I'm like, what oh, is. Yeah, I think that was who, intentional. Who are these people? Like, it's not being explained, and nothing is really being explained, honestly. Nothing in this whole episode was explained. Uh, and it's still going. <laughs> Yeah. This flashback yeah. is going on this until is... next episode. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I have a note here in my notes that just says, are we in the past? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on. And at, before, right before you... I asked that question, there's this part where they're in town square, and it's like some something's happening. They don't explain it, but <laughs> but they're all having fun, and... I haven't seen this in years, you guys. Panning shots. Still framed panning shots. I thought that was a thing of like 10 years ago. I didn't think we still did that. I guess we do. And my notes for that is panning shots. No! (laughs) I hate panning shots. It's lazy. It's so lazy. Beautiful. (laughs) Um, I'm torn with this episode. I, me too. I loved it, but I hated it. <laughs> uh, all what of did my, you love about it? Uh, if they exp- like, I like the idea of everything behind it. Like they had a the you know the flashback. Okay, them going to the mountain. Okay, uh, but everything like everything that was introduced in this episode and what they were trying to do, I understood what what the i understood what was going on in a sense they just did not explain anything and it was just like it it felt like it feels like they're just trying to get through whatever it is they're trying to this all the setup so they can get to the show to which i'm like why didn't you not give this more than just three cores why is this just 36 episodes if you had this much issues Matsuru got smothered by Shiragane. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, he, his, Masaru <laughs> oh. does his best Slime Daddy yeah. impression <laughs> on that one. <laughs> well, Shiragane, it's like, who hugs like that, first of all? It's like, come here, little one. Let's break the neck. <laughs> Let's, let me give you a hug. To right say between the boobs. Be okay. Yeah, yeah, to say everything's going to be okay. It's going to be all right. Smother. Um, you know... This episode reminded me of the first episode of Cold Geass R2. Like where it was like uh, a whole bunch of characters that yeah. that were just there and then you were wondering who the fuck are these people? But mm-hmm. the thing about that is Cold Geass did that on purpose and then everything was explained later on. Yeah. This is not going to be explained. And just for like a uh, a reference, I guess, that Claymore did something similar to this where we kind of had the flashback of somebody and an episode was dedicated to those flashbacks for a couple of episodes. Or in Claymore, it happened in four episodes. There was just a flashback telling us about two characters. But this is going to last two episodes, but it feels so yeah, it, it feels like it needs those four episodes. It's just 
things just happen way too fast. Because mind you, this flashback happened in the middle of this episode. So even with even if it ends next episode, it still didn't even get two full episodes to fully explain all of this. And if this was just a too much put into one episode. Also, I agree. They found Guy, unlike a, a wing, yeah. and he's got like a hole in his <laughs> stomach, and and then apparently he the fuck up by having. <laughs> How did he live through that? Not only that, not only that, but Guy is Shiro's teacher. Guy yeah. say, I I kind of had a a feeling. Because there was like a mini, a mini teeny tiny flashback where it showed her knowing yeah, him. And yeah, I was she, thinking, are they related? Are they this? As soon as she, she said, yeah. yeah, that, I was like, oh, okay. That, that's she was taken know. in and they trained so hard, she lost all of her emotions. To which I'm like, you trained so hard, you have no more emotions. That's in- insane. How hard were you training to where you forget and, to have oh emotions? We found out that Shiragani's real name is Eleanor. Uh yep. yeah yeah Eleanor. That's her name, Eleanor. We're is... we're still calling her Shirogane, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think. Or so. polka dot mama. Yeah, that works. That's well, the she's one. not even. You can't even like. She's had. When's the last time we've seen polka dots? Yeah. I know it's episode... been forever. She needs to bring them back. Episode two or three? Two? Episode two. I miss those polka dots. Wait, where where the hell was Velma this episode? I don't <laughs> she know. She's taking a nap. She's like, "Oh, it's a flashback episode. Good night." <laughs> yeah, we still haven't really gotten properly introduced to her. There's there's got to be like, there's got to be a point where it's got to slow there, down, right? There there there. Was, mm, you can't probably not. It's thirty six episodes. There has to be at some point. Where it slows down, I think the manga has like a hundred something chapters, which makes me think, yeah, it's got to slow down at some point if it's in the hundreds of chapters for this manga. Like, it's got to slow down, and that's what I'm holding out for. I'm holding out for episode whatever when they slow down, and it, and it makes <laughs> everything is explained properly and things make sense. We're on episode twenty. When's it gonna slow <laughs> <go> down? <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Because it's 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 not a bad show by any means. It's just it's pacing. It has it's highs killing. and it has lows. Right, right, exactly. I swear this this has been a wave. the The episode before the badass episode was nothing but just Mar- Narumi going, "Oh, it's an kids," and then it just went up and then it went down again. You know, and then we got to that awesome episode last week and it was at the highest point and now it's back at it i swear it just comes in waves this this show it's it's all because of the pacing yeah what they should have done is they should have said they should have went to like the person who freaking wrote this and was like listen this we they gave us 36 episodes that's all we have can you (laughs) can you just do something with this make this can you help us out man (laughs) And I guarantee you they didn't do that. I guarantee you there was a committee and they were like, let's just like, you know, take out all the talking stuff. Just every, everything's action. Just make all the action things happen. It just it doesn't work. It, you can tell this. It just needed more episodes. And I, at some point, I'm still, I still got to say it. It's got to slow down. It literally cannot go at this pace forever. There's no way. There's absolutely no way. If it does, then I will be severely disappointed and I will cry all the time. Because this, well, I love this anime. Well, I mean, we we don't have to cry. We could drop it. So I gotta ask, <laughs> what what are, what are we giving this show? Huh? <sighs> it's such a shame because the last last week's episode was so good. Like I was so into it, and then this episode just came to a screeching halt and i feel i feel as if the next episode is going to be more of the flashback and i'm okay with that but they just like you said they need to do some slowing down they need to do some explaining and i feel as if if it doesn't do that anytime soon it's going to 
it's not going to end too well for this show. So I'm going to give it a pass, but next week's episode will be the make or break episode. I think that we're all going to pretty reluctantly pass this simply because it's, it's built up great credit with us. Uh, I'm going to pass it, and I, but I think this show is going through that Tokyo Ghoul syndrome. I mean, I don't even watch Tokyo Ghoul, yeah. but everybody has told me. I've just heard the fans complain that the anime is just going crazy they, with this pace. They put like 150 something episodes or 150 something chapters into 12 episodes of Tokyo Ghoul Re season two. Holy shit. Holy shit. That's worse than yeah. this. Yeah. Um, and it's the score reflects it because the new Tokyo Ghoul anime is looking like a train wreck in the eyes of my anime list and all social media social media platforms across the world. Um, but yeah, it's it feels like the show is going through that. I mean, hopefully, as he said, it slows down. I'm passing it with that in mind. So I guess it's nothing but a wait and kind of see situation. I'm never going to stop watching the show. I'm going to watch all 36 episodes because I want to know how this ends. I think it's interesting. But I... I I don't know if you guys remember this, but I said it's getting only one courtesy pass for me. I think is that one really bad episode. So I got to kill it because I said it only gets one. I'm not going to give it another one. It's getting a kill for me. Ooh. So if there was <laughs> uh, either way, I was like, man, halfway through this episode, I was like, there's no way. There's no way this is recovering. I do you want to say, though? This episode tried very hard, <laughs> very hard it did. I understood what it was trying to do, and that in itself makes me think that there's at least some love and care behind it. But so far, it I agree with Sotsky. It is becoming the Tokyo Ghoul Re of Shonen of uh, the 1980s. So probably going to read the manga, start reading the manga one of these days, probably after I finish reading Blade of the Immortal. And then, yeah, this this show. Whew, so sad. Everything animated, shout yourself out. Tell them where they can find you. Uh, I, hi, I'm Everything Animated. I like tacos. And um, I like Godzilla. I don't know, weird combination. But you can find me at uh, YouTube uh, slash Everything Animated. Doing the Bunny Girl Senpai podcast. I do a live stream now. All thanks to uh, Z Tactics and all the six viewers that keep tuning in every week. It's awesome. Yeah. Mm hmm. And uh, yeah, you can find me there. One of these days I'll get the discussion tab, but nah. Ain't happening until I get a thousand subscribers. I think that's fair. <laughs> I think that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> nah. Sotsky, shout yourself out. Um, I am Sotsky the Savage. I want to reiterate that Ming Zaya, uh, I think that's how you pronounce her name, she is not my waifu. Um, there are qualifications that you have to go through, and I think it's, it's disgraceful that she was even a candidate. Okay? My expectations are high. I'm sorry. But, I apologize. Uh, yes. Uh, I don't accept it, at least not right now. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, catch me on the Twitter, King Daniels Jr. Catch me on the YouTube, two channels. One, the main channel is Satsuki the Savage. The second channel is Satsuki the Reactor. Live reactions to JoJo right now on that channel. Um, Hunter Hunter videos on the other one. Uh, yeah, that's that's it. I think. I want to remind you guys that uh, next week we will not be, for the last two weeks of this year, we will not be uh, doing any live shows. We will be doing a special award show. Part one will go up. Oh, God. i got to check the dates here. We'll go up on <laughs> the 22nd, and then the part two will go up on the 29th. So, yeah, we'll have a show next week. Uh, but other than that, 
you're on the channel anyways. Just, you know, if you already didn't hit subscribe, do it. That would be pretty cool. Ring the bell. All that stuff. Do this for everyone in, in the show. They're so nice. They're so they're so cute. Kawaii. Uh, yeah. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.